The shelter just contacted me, and they say they have about a year-old poodle mix that was turned in by his old family. Apparently, the reason they turned him in was they say they had too many dogs. And so the first question that popped up in my mind is, why would they turn this particular dog in? Does he have any behavior problems or any issues that I'm not aware of? Well, that's the million-dollar question, and that's what I'll find out after I adopt him and get to know him a little better. Hey, is that you? Why are you so shy? Come here, come say hi. All right. Have it your way. I'm not gonna hurt you, don't worry. Come here, come here. One-year-old Chester is too timid to approach his visitor. So Brandon introduces himself slowly to make sure the dog feels safe. Timid little thing, huh? Tell you what, let me just get a little closer. What do you say you and I go for a little drive? Come here. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you, I know. Okay, okay, you ready? One, two, three, and look at that. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Back at the ranch. All right, try it on. Chester receives his official Lucky Dog in Training uniform. There you go, there you go. Perfect fit. All right, come on. Let's go meet the pack. All right, All right let him breathe, let him breathe. Go on, say hi, make friends. Welcome to the Lucky Dog Ranch. Chester enjoys roaming around with the other dogs, but he's definitely a wallflower and will need an adopter with a gentle touch. A woman in San Diego, California might be exactly what Chester needs. My name is Oren Galang. I am currently working for a biopharmaceutical company. I am working from home as a project manager, which gives me all the more opportunity to be able to spend time with a dog and train them. Oren has always had a dog in her life until recently. I recently had to go through divorce and unfortunately I had to give up my dog, Lincoln, because my ex-husband had kids and I didn't want the kids to go through the pain of losing the dog as well, even if it meant breaking my heart. She's more than ready to open her home to a new companion. I am looking for a dog that is small to medium because I live in an apartment. Hopefully, I get to find someone who's very clean and needy. So I could use some of that in real life today. Come on. Before Brandon can determine if Oren and Chester are a good match, he'll have to do an assessment. Nope, nope, taking the stairs, not the ramp. Today I'll be doing Chester's assessment of his knowledge of the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. When I was walking him down the steps of the training yard, I noticed he was hitting the brakes on me time and again. And we were about two thirds of the way down and suddenly he just hit the brakes for good. He wanted no part of the rest of those steps. And the second we got into the training yard, he was shutting down on me even more. Come here. It looked like he was getting spooked by pretty much everything. Not all shelter dogs are gonna come out of the shelter ready to work. Chester's telling me right now that he wants no part of this. I'm not gonna force you. So, this assessment, it might have to hold off for a while. Come on. Very good boy, excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy. 